Are you sure that you have enough to survive a prolonged crisis? You may have the essentials of food and water covered, but what about the other items which could prove invaluable in the chaos and aftermath of a disaster or a grid down situation? One of the most common talking points on this channel is the importance of making sure you have enough supplies stored up in your home or apartment in case of a disaster. That's so you don't have to worry about how you'll survive should grocery stores run out of stock or become completely unavailable. Though stocking up for an emergency is important, not everyone's gonna do it. And one of the major roadblocks is that it's expensive to do so. Stocking up various important supplies that can last for months is expensive if you have to do it all at once. The good thing with prepping is that you can be creative in how you make your preparations. When it comes to stocking, you don't have to just focus on essential items like water, food, and medicine, which can be expensive. You can also look at items that will become in demand, especially in a prolonged grid down scenario. You can use these items to barter for essential items you may need in the future. In this video, we'll identify 10 expensive items that you can stock up on now that will be in high demand after an SHTF scenario. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this YouTube ad free video. I'll share a little more about them later in the video. In a grid down scenario, the city or country that was affected will be functioning differently. Access to basic items and services will most likely be gone. The currency will be useless and chaos and danger will be the new norm. Food, water, and medicine are the most important supplies during these times. But as humans adapt to a new normal, there will also be certain items that will be in high demand. If you have stocks of these items, you can use them to barter for more important items that you'll need. I'll provide links to each of these items in the description section below if you'd like to pick them up. Number one, seeds. The first item that will likely be in high demand in a prolonged SHTF scenario are seeds. When the grid down scenario lasts longer than expected, your supplies of food will likely become depleted and you'll need to produce your own food and planning is one of the best ways to do it. Typical vegetable seeds do have a shelf life of between one to four years. Even after four years, however, you can likely still get one or two starter plants from a handful of seeds. While heirloom seeds are a plus because of their varieties, hybrid seeds are produced because they are easier to grow. Vegetable seeds, clover seeds, alfalfa seeds, whether ground into flour or soaked in water and eaten whole, sprouted or grown into producing plants, can all be stored quite easily in mason jars. And a mason jar full of seeds can easily be parsed out into multiple handfuls for bartering purposes. Number two, water filtration and purification tablets. Water is one of the most important supplies that people need after a collapse. Even if they prepare gallons of clean water for drinking and cleaning, a prolonged grid down scenario will quickly deplete that. So having the ability to filter or purify water will be essential, making them a high demand item. A water filter is designed to remove waterborne bacteria and protozoa, while a purification tablet will remove both protozoa and bacteria as well as viruses. Water filters are recommended to be used in areas where there are fewer humans, since it also means a lower risk of viruses. A purification tablet, on the other hand, is recommended if the water source is near a populated area or if the surrounding environment is in poor condition. Boiling isn't always an option, which is why filtration and purification items will be in high demand. A simple mini Sawyer filter will cost you around 20 bucks. While that's a low price point, it would command a hefty price in exchange. A more affordable item to stockpile would be the purification tablet. You can get 100 tablets for around $10, which can easily be traded out in smaller lots. The incredibly small size of those tablets make them easy to store, hide, and carry. I recommend the Potable Aqua tablets. It's an iodine-based purification tablet that can kill viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. It's very easy to use and provides decent water cleansing. You just need to wait a bit for the tablet to purify the water before it becomes drinkable. I'll put a link to this item in the description section below. Number three, feminine hygiene products and cotton. Feminine hygiene products and cotton balls and gauze are important supply items that often get overlooked. They're mostly just included in the list for hygiene products or in smaller quantities and first aid kits. When it comes to female hygiene products, tampons and pads are usually the only things that people will think about and consider. Though they are needed, there are also other options that could be better in terms of the space needed in storing them and the manner of disposing them. Reusable pads are a space saver since there isn't a need to store a great many of them. 
The major downside is that it has to be cleaned so it can be used again. Menstrual cups are another good option that saves space and can be repeatedly used. Whatever you choose in this category, remember to focus on three things, how they will be disposed of, how they will be stored, and if it requires water for cleaning. Since a hygienic cotton pad can also be used in an emergency as a bandage, I also included in this category cotton balls and gauze. Cotton balls have numerous uses, are cheap, and can easily be tightly packed for the purpose of storage. For cleaning and treating wounds with starting fires, you can store a thousand of these little cotton balls in a very small and lightweight area, and for under $10. Number four, pain medications. Pain medication is another cheap item that can be in high demand in a prolonged grid down scenario. People will suffer muscle and aches after any grid down situation because the majority of people are not used to the physical strain that will be their everyday experience in their struggle to survive. Some will likely even have injuries and resulting inflammation. This will make pain medication an in-demand item since people will want relief from the pain they're dealing with as they do their best to navigate in a more chaotic and stressful environment. When it comes to pain medication, it's also important to have medication for dental pain. Toothaches are already irritating to deal with, but they become even more hellish during an SHTF situation. And since dentists will be hard to find, getting some relief from dental pain will be huge. Pain relief medications are inexpensive in bulk, but do be aware that many have a shelf life. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe, who is currently offering 40% off during their holiday deals. Simply Safe is an effective and reliable home security system that's easy to use and set up and is a trusted home security system. Simply Safe has now rolled out a new outdoor camera. It has a 140 degree field of view at 1080 HD with an 8x zoom, so you can zoom in and capture critical evidence such as faces or license plates. It also has a built in spotlight with color night vision for nighttime usage and two way audio, allowing you to speak through the phone app. With the easy to snap on magnetic base, you can position the camera at any angle you want, easily adjust it and quickly remove it to charge it. In the past, having to wire up external cameras has excluded many, but this has alleviated this problem. With the Simply Safe phone app, you can easily access the camera when away from home. Their interactive monitoring service will call the police if the system is alerted to anything. Save 40% off your Simply Safe security system during their biggest sale of the year. Visit simplysafe.com forward slash city prepping to learn more. Number five, work gloves. Work gloves are an item that most people don't pay attention to, but will be in high demand after a major disaster. If you don't have a couple of pairs in your prepping supplies, you definitely need to add them. Whether you're digging through rubble in the aftermath of a disaster or learning to use some tools to rebuild, protecting your hands is essential. After the grid goes down, there will be a lot of heavy work to do like rummaging through debris, cutting down trees and removing large objects. Once people start doing these heavy tasks, they'll start to realize the importance of wearing work gloves. For work gloves, those that are made in leather are recommended. They have superior abrasion resistance, heat resistance, breathability, tensile strength, good puncture resistance, and the ability to absorb shock. But best of all, leather gloves are inexpensive. Number six, toilet paper. This item is already obvious, especially if you're concerned about personal hygiene, even in a grid down scenario. But you may now realize after the first part of 2020 how this item is often hoarded in emergency or crisis situations. Toilet paper can be purchased cheaply, smashed somewhat flat and vacuum sealed to keep it moisture and bug free. You can also store three times more through this method. It goes without saying how valuable this item is even during the shortest of times during a disaster or crisis. Number seven, ignition sources and candles. Whether you store matches, lighters, butane, lighter fluid, chafing dish fuel, cans, hurricane candles, or tea candles, these items are inexpensive, don't take too much space, and will be invaluable in a grid down scenario. Sterilizing water and cooking will be essential to human health, but people will easily burn through their small supplies of matches and store bought lighters. Consider a variety of ignition sources and candles for your stockpile and understand the increased value these items will have in an extended crisis. Number eight, cooking oil. Cooking oil is another item that will become in demand after a grid down scenario. Not only does it allow you to cook your food, but cooking oils also provide fat and calories. Both are important sources of energy, which people need more of after a collapse. When getting cooking oil, it is better to use vegetable oil instead of the oil that is based on animal fat. 
The reason for this is that these oils will go rancid faster than vegetable oils. Cooking oil is also good in helping start a fire, as a medicine and for emergency fuel for fires. Corn, soybean, and other vegetable oils do have a shelf life for the purposes of consumption of a little over two years, so you will want to rotate it through your supplies to ensure fresh quantities on hand. Purchasing large quantities is affordable, and parsing it out to smaller sizes for trade only requires a container. Number 9. Batteries Batteries are another item that will become valuable in a prolonged SHTF scenario. Small electronic devices that people use with just batteries, like a flashlight or a battery-operated radio, won't last long. When stocking up on batteries, it's important that you just stock up on the standard AA, AAA, C, D cell batteries since most electrical devices make use of those batteries. Alkaline batteries are good since they have higher capacity, better performance in higher low temperatures, and a longer shelf life. However, if you have rechargeable batteries and a solar means to recharge them, you could keep those close to you and power in exchange for items you need. Number 10. Knowledge and Skills The last, but really should be the first inexpensive item in high demand will be knowledge and skills. It's an unseen commodity that is so valuable, I have entire whole other videos on the subject. It's probably the least expensive thing you can acquire now that will be in highest demand after a grid down situation. Not everyone will possess knowledge and skills that can help them survive and even thrive in a prolonged collapse. This will make them seek out help and assistance from people who have the knowledge to produce food, hunt, fish, forage, purify water, fix a generator or engine, provide medical services, even to sew, weave, or knit, to name just a few. You can use the skills and knowledge you possess as a bartering tool to get tangible items that you need. Preparing the essential items you will need for a grid down scenario is important, but you also have to consider the possibility of the collapse lasting longer than expected. The Great Depression, it lasted almost a decade. You can use this time now to your advantage and prepare inexpensive items that will be in high demand after a collapse to use as a bartering tool. Now this can help you get more essential items and supplies when you need them. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Now you can save 40% or more on your Simply Safe security system during their biggest sale of the year. You can visit them at simplysafe.com forward slash city prepping to learn more. I'd love to hear from you what other inexpensive items to stock up on now for a better trade later. Please put any suggestions, tips, or information you have in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and share it with your friends, family, and community. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to share, again, please feel free to share that in the comments section below. Subscribe to this channel to get updates on new videos I release. As always, please stay safe out there.